Hi everyone, my name is Michelle York and I'm coming to you from my kitchen today. One of the questions I get asked a lot is how do I prep my meals for the week? So just to give you a little background on me and my family, we like things to be simple and easy. I am not an extravagant chef in the kitchen. I like to do real simple recipes that are easy for us to enjoy when it's time for us to have a meal together. So today I'm gonna to be showing you some of my favorite tips and tricks on how I make some of my favorite recipes each week. What we like to do is we will prep our meat, our protein for the week, our main dishes for the week. We'll have those in the refrigerator. And then when it's time for our meal, all I have to do is steam some vegetables, make a salad, whatever it is I want to go along with it, and we are done. And my kids like it because they get to choose each day what they wanna eat. If they don't feel like chicken that day, they can choose the pork or they can choose the tacos. They get to choose what they eat each and every day. So stay tuned and we're gonna show you some of my favorite tips and tricks. Well, first up, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite tools in the kitchen, and that is my air fryer. So yours may look different than this one, um, but they all work the same, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to grill chicken in your air fryer, and you can do batches of chicken, keep it in the fridge to have all week to put with a side of veggies, some rice, a salad, whatever it is you wanna do. But this is one of our favorite ways to make our chicken. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, your pan, your basket out of your air fryer, and the first thing I want you to do is just using some olive oil spray or avocado oil, whatever your favorite oil is, just don't use vegetable or canola oil. You're gonna spray the bottom of your basket, just like that. That's just so your chicken doesn't stick. Now I choose to purchase, this is um, the chicken tenderloins. I find that they cook easier, they cook faster, so that's why I choose to use these. So I usually can get probably about four or five of these in the basket at a time. So I put them in there. I'm just gonna do four. I don't like getting raw chicken on my fingers, as you can tell. Then I use my olive oil spray again. I just spray the top of the chicken very lightly, and then I choose a dry rub or a seasoning. So the one that my family loves is this one. It's, a, it's kind of spicy. They like spice in this house. So I'm gonna use this one today, but you can always use like a lemon pepper or garlic and herb, whatever you like. So I just open that up and then I'm gonna sprinkle that right on my chicken. And don't be bashful with your seasoning. Season up that chicken. You can see my chicken is quite red. All right, then I'm gonna pop that into my air fryer. I'm gonna set the temperature to 350 degrees. For the tenderloins, I set it to eight minutes. When it dings, I take the pan out, I flip it over, put the oil on there again and the seasonings into it for another eight minutes and they come out perfectly. So I'm gonna turn this on and there we go. We just wait for it to ding. Okay, so my air fryer has now dinged, meaning the first side is done. So I'm gonna take the basket out and if you wanna come look, you can see it's already started cooking. I'm gonna flip each of these over and then on this side, I'm gonna do the same thing with my seasonings. I don't need more oil, there's enough oil in there. But again, I sprinkle those seasonings on there very generously, just like that. Pop it back into my air fryer. Set it for another eight minutes. Now when it dings this time, those are gonna be perfectly done and ready to go. I'll just put them in my Tupperware and I'll continue with the rest of my chicken. Now other ways we use the air fryer is we use it to hard boil our eggs. So that's something that tends to shock people that you can do that, but you can put your eggs in here. So 12 eggs, set it to 250 degrees for 17 minutes, take it out immediately and put it into an ice bath and they are perfect every single time. We also use it to make healthy French fries. My kids love to have French fries with a burger or something like that. So I'll buy little yellow gold potatoes. I slice them up really thin, almost like potato chips. I soak them in some water for a bit just to kind of soften them up. Then I put them in the pan or the basket, spray them with some oil, sprinkle some sea salt on there. They are perfect every time. So that would be around a 400 degree. And it takes about probably 30 minutes total to make those to get them really good and crispy. Um, so just put them on for like 10 minute increments at a time. Keep shaking it up, turning them over until you get them to the crispiness that you want to do. So an air fryer is a great way for you to utilize for meal prep every week to make things simple for your family because I don't want to have to go out and set the grill and, and grill chicken for hours. I'd rather just do it right here in my kitchen and while this is cooking I can do something else because I don't have to watch it. 
So thank you so much for tuning in and learning more about meal prep. If you have questions about ways you can prep meals for your family, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Contact me on my website or through email, however you would like to do that. And I will take some time to definitely share some more tips and tricks with you. Have an awesome day. Bye.